Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the very important topic in metallurgy that is blast furnace. The questions may be asked from this area. Write the various zones of blast furnace and its reactions. They will be asking a question like this. So if they ask a question like this we have to write the following things. So first of all the blast furnace, what is the use of blast furnace? The blast furnace, uh, this is the setup of blast furnace, you know, okay. So here, as we know that uh, here we are taken in the top of the part, we are having a, a ore, limestone and as well as the coke will be added to that. So here in the bottom part, you just look at here the hot air and oxygen will be passed through tires. Trials are the specialized apparatus to give or blast air to this uh, furnace. Okay, so it's a air giving apparatus. So here are the trials will produce as uh, air, hot air to this. And now we have a coke in the top. We are discharging the coke on the top from this uh, hopper. That uh, coke will come downward. Now the heat will goes upward. By the way, the heat will uh, burn the coke. So here the coke will burn and give some amount of energy in the form of heat. So here uh, uh, maximum amount of energy we are getting here is 2700 Kelvin. Sorry, 2170 Kelvin. And uh, it can be separated into four different zones. Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4. Otherwise Zone 1, 2, 3, 4. Etc. Et now, <clears throat> what is the role of this blast furnace? <clears throat> Why it is used or how it is used? So here, the iron ore can be converted into iron. So for that, uh, here also we will be getting only crude metal. So for that, uh, we are using a blast furnace to convert the iron ore into iron. <clears throat> so here, what are all the raw materials we are uh, chosen? What are all the raw materials? Here iron ore, that is the ore will be taken here and uh, here the ore will be taken here and uh, that ore is called as a Fe2O3, that is iron ore and then limestone, that is calcium carbonate and coke, that is carbon we are using here, okay? And uh, if you are allowing all those things, this will be taken as a raw material to get much amount of heat as well as the iron can be iron oxide can be converted into iron in the blast furnace and uh, here there will be uh, different zones are available what are all the different zones are available here let us check these uh, zones so what are all the zones available here so here you just look at number of zones are available one is the reduction zone first one is the reduction zone this zone will be called as reduction zone that is up to 1070 kelvin up to 1070 Kelvin. That zone, that is upper part of the zone will be called as the reduction zone. And next zone is slag zone. This will be called as 1270 Kelvin. That will be coming under a slag zone. Next one is the fusion zone. That will be always available in 1572, 1770 Kelvin. So that kind of zone will be called as the fusion zone. And one more thing is the combustion zone. The combustion zone, it's a bottom part of the zone, bottom part of the furnace that will produce maximum amount of heat. Okay, so here the heat amount will, heat uh, content is getting decreases from bottom to top. From top, when we are moving towards to top, uh, bottom to top, the heat is getting reduces. Okay, so here the various zones are separated, reduction zone, slag zone, fusion zone, combustion zone. Let us discuss one by one. So here the first zone is uh, because uh, we need to understand the first zone uh, as combustion zone. Why we need to understand the combustion zone? Because the combustion zone will produce as much amount of heat. Okay. So how it creates heat? Now we, as we know that the carbon that is a coke we ordered, added from the top. Okay. And oxygen we supplied uh, through the tires. Okay. So both can react to form carbon dioxide. That reaction is delta H is negative. So it is exothermic reaction. And uh, formed carbon dioxide again reacts with the coke coming from coming out from the top. So both can react to form carbon monoxide. That reaction is what is that uh, endothermic 
But if you compare overall reaction, so if suppose if I'm taking cancelling this carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is getting cancelled. So carbon, carbon, two carbon, two C and one oxygen, one O2. So both can react to form two CO. This reaction is exothermic in nature because it has delta H is negative. So this reaction is delta H negative so that it is a high Ex highly exothermic reaction. If it is a highly exothermic reaction, it liberates much amount of heat. That's what here we received much amount of heat. And uh, next to zone is, uh, as we know that uh, there are four zones are there. Am I right? Uh, so here four zones are there. We talk about the already talk about the combustion zone that liberates much amount of heat. Next we are uh, going to talk about the reduction zone because uh, let us come from top to bottom now. So what happened here? So reduction zone, reduction zone, how it gives a reduction zone. So it's a low temperature zone. Am I right? So this is a low temperature zone in between this range, 1070 and below. That range will be called as a reduction zone. In reduction zone, what kind of reduction reaction will occur? Let us see one by one. So what is the reduction zone? So here, uh, Fe2O3, that is the ore we have taken. That is the ore we have taken and it will be reacting with carbon monoxide where the carbon monoxide will come the carbon monoxide will enter here because of this combustion zone so the overall product is carbon monoxide that will act as a reducing agent here okay and uh, this carbon monoxide which is going to react with our um, iron oxide that is ore to reduce this iron oxide into iron fe3o4 so initially it get converted into Fe2O3 can be converted into Fe3O4. After that Fe3O4 again reacts with the carbon monoxide to form FeO as a product. So here it getting reduced. So FeO again react with the carbon monoxide further reduced into iron solid. Okay, with the liberation of carbon dioxide. So here the iron oxide again react with the coke coming out from this uh, region which can react because uh, react to form iron solid with the liberation of carbon monoxide. These are all the uh, reaction which is taken place in reduction zone. So here also the various temperature will be existing. So at which uh, this first reaction will be taking place at 673, second one is uh, 873, uh, third one is 973, fourth one is 1073 Kelvin. Are you able to understand? Okay, this is the reduction zone which will be taking place, which type of reaction will be taking place. Our next zone is a slag zone. Slag zone, slag formation zone. That's a third zone. Okay, a slag formation zone. That is the thousand two hundred and seventy-three. One, two, three, third zone. That is a thousand two hundred and seventy-three Kelvin zone. So here the, we use the limestone. Am I right? So here one of our one of our raw material is limestone also. Okay, the limestone is getting converted into calcium oxide. The CaCO3 under which a high temperature it is getting converted into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So here the calcium oxide again react with the silica. Where it comes from silica? Because we use the ore. The ore may contain a lot of impurities like a silicon impurities, phosphorus impurities, manganese impurities. Okay, that kind of impurities may be there. That uh, silica impurity which will be reacting with the calcium oxide to form uh, calcium silicate as a slag so which will be removed as a slag are you able to understand which will be removed as a slag this type of reaction this type of reaction will takes place at slag formation zone and uh, the very important thing the next zone is fusion zone fusion zone what is the fusion zone the fusion zone uh, the temperature you look at uh, 1773 Kelvin approximately this range 1600 to 1700 uh, Kelvin range. So here iron solid can be converted into iron liquid. Okay, iron solids can be converted into iron liquid. That kind of uh, reaction will be, that is the fusion of uh, this uh, iron liquid can be converted. So here uh, I'll be getting in the fusion zone, uh, I'll be getting uh, this kind of iron liquid that will become here as a molten uh, iron, that molten iron again react to again it will be removed as a, a separate way which forms a pig iron the pig iron may contain a lot of impurities like a sulfur then uh, phosphorus then manganese that kind of impurities are there and uh, here the molten slag in the in the previous zone that is a, a slag zone we got uh, 
uh, slag which will be in the form of molten at a high temperature the molten slag will be uh, placed here and that will be removed as a solid waste that will be removed again as a solid waste are you able to understand student this kind of reaction will be taking place at uh, all the zones so these all the that's all about the what is that um, blast furnace so here in which the very important thing so here uh, <clears throat> you have to understand what kind of reactions are going so here uh, you need to know one thing that is what here reduction zone and fusion zone is there reduction zone and fusion zone is there you just look at the reduction zone here iron oxide will be reacting with uh, carbon monoxide to form iron solid okay iron solid that will be taking place at low temperature then low temperature the carbon monoxide will act as a reducing agent for iron okay but in this fusion zone again the feo that is the uh, feo again react with uh, so here the one more thing is happen so what kind of things are happen so here iron oxide iron oxide can react with the carbon that is co to form iron liquid with carbon sorry carbon monoxide are you able to understand these kind of reaction may also takes place at fusion zone at which a very very high temperature 2170 kelvin the iron oxide can be react with the coke to form iron liquid as well as carbon monoxide now you can look at these two reaction here iron oxide react with the carbon monoxide to form iron solid at which a lower temperature reduction zone but in the fusion zone that is the fusion zone at which a very high temperature so iron oxide again react with the coke to form iron with carbon monoxide in this case low temperature region carbon monoxide will act as a reducing agent in high temperature region coke will act as a reducing agent for iron oxide are you able to understand students and uh, it's for uh, it is uh, for a uh, memory tip just you can uh, understand how to uh, memorize the zones present in that um, a blast furnace so here you can take it as a resale of a computer so here re is nothing but a reduction zone and sale slag zone and way of off fusion zone and com combustion zone so just you can memorize it no need to memorize this thing by the way of uh, helping these kind of uh, short tricks you can able to identify all the zones you can keep it in memory uh, all the zones you can keep it in memory so <laughs> i think so you understand very well uh, the very important thing uh, the industrial uh, construction of a blast furnace how it will be so i will be giving some example so here it's a picture of a blast furnace a real time blast furnace so as you know that the real brass furnace working will be very easy because we are we are saying about the temperature it's all very easy to us but practically it is too difficult to make up we need to set up uh, such a kind of um, instruments so by the way we can make this kind of brass furnace to convert uh, iron oxide into iron and uh, here um, we need to spend a lot of money and lot of energy lot of raw materials are required to conduct these kind of uh, reactions so that uh, it is a tough task in industry and uh, this is another uh, example of a blast furnace so here also industrial construction is a difficult task while uh, while we does uh, while we studied in theory it will be very easy for us but uh, while we just making as a uh, practical one so that will be too tough we need to spend lot of energy and money okay i think so you understand very well thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit and don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to put a like to this video thank you so much for watching thank you thank you for learning share and like this video